Amnik Amnik is a spiritual teacher. She's the author of three books and she lives in the United States. This year, all of Amnik's books have been re-released in a single compilation edition by the European publishing house Das Gute Buch. I have known about the books from Omnek Onek for more than 20 years, and I know that they were sold out for many years. When I got the offer to publish them again, I accepted right away. So now the publisher has the copyright worldwide for all languages. When we read Omnek's books, we can learn a lot. One very important principle that Omnek teaches is unconditional love. And she herself lives unconditional love. Omnik says that the most important thing that we have to learn here on earth is to integrate unconditional love into our consciousness and lives and to refrain from criticism and judgments and to increasingly replace them with the kind of love that encompasses all. By meeting Omnik Onik personally, it was very fascinating for me to learn that she's not, so to speak, just another average woman from the esoteric scene who has just thought something up, but that she definitely possesses a great deal of inner knowledge and that she radiates an authenticity that is second to none. Scientists say that creation consists of maybe 1% matter and 99% nothing. But what is nothing? I was especially fascinated by Omnek's story because we usually assume that extraterrestrials come from infinitely far away, from hundreds and thousands of light years away. Many people find this hard to imagine because they think it's not possible to bridge these large distances and that therefore a visit of extraterrestrials is simply impossible. But here with Omnek Onik, we can see that even in our solar system much more is going on in this respect than we think who are officially told. Because the imagination is the key to creation. Whatever you can imagine becomes reality or is reality. Omnik Onik is a spiritual teacher who tells us that other dimensions are inhabited as well. She talks about this, and she describes in her autobiography that she comes from the astral plane of the planet Venus. She is here to reconnect us with this universal knowledge and to remind us that the Earth is not the only planet that is inhabited and that what we can see and touch is not all that exists. I read all of Omnek's three books in the spring of 2010. What impressed me above all was the book From Venus I Came. There, she describes life on the astral plane, and she wrote it in such an animated fashion that I imagine I was there with her. After some time, an inner process developed within me, and through this, I feel that I am a part of a whole universe, a being of a whole universe. It was really a highlight for me. And what I teach people from uh, actually is what I know, not what I've read about or what I've heard, but what I have experienced through many different life uh, cycles on Earth and in other dimensions. And to make the people aware, there is a Christian heaven, but this Christian heaven has been created by the some total consciousness of all the Christians that exist and that, and that it, uh, put their energy into this belief system. And they don't realize that they have created this Christian heaven. And uh, as well, the place of torture. That if you don't uh, live according to your religious beliefs and everything, if you commit suicide or you break some other spiritual law, These books contain wonderful wisdom and are written in a very humorous and fascinating way. Furthermore, a very interesting lecture from Omnek is now available on DVD and as audio CD, as well as several other CDs, for example the CD Soul Journey. 
It describes the journey of the soul through different levels of consciousness and this as a meditation. For an easier understanding of the journey of the soul, we have designed a mandala as a poster and an aid to meditate. During the summer of 2006, I met Omnik Onik for the first time in a small workshop in a private circle. I was already touched by her shape, her beauty, and for me, the highlight of this encounter was when we embraced each other at the end of a meeting and where her and my souls joined each other on a very deep, tender, fine, I would like to almost say fragrant level. Until now, only the first part of Omnic's autobiography with the title From Venus I Came was released in English. Now finally, for the first time, the books on the continuation of her life story about her life on Earth with the title Angels Don't Cry and on the spiritual essence with the title My Message are available in English. A highlight is a brand new current chapter about the development of the souls on planet Earth. In her books, Omnek makes repeated reference to her spiritual masters. One of them was Paul Twitchell, the founder and at that time living Ekmaster of Ekankar. Today, Harold Klemp is the living Ekmaster, the Mahanta. Ekankar is the ancient science of soul travel. I feel that these books are extraordinarily important and precious for all who read them because they can thereby create better lives for themselves. They're made aware of the fact that we are souls, spiritual beings and masters of our own destinies, and therefore our lives can be improved enormously. I'm hoping that this information can help you to understand step by step how that you can develop and use your power for what you will and what you wish and have.